Is there another Jesus? The Real Jesus Spirit and Gospel The network of house churches that the Apostle Paul planted at Corinth in Greece was so gullible about spiritual matters that he chided them. If someone comes and proclaims another Jesus than the one we proclaimed, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or if you accept a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it readily enough. To this day, many Christian believers are easily deceived about these three questions. Who is Jesus? What does the Holy Spirit do? What must we do to be saved? Who is Jesus? Jesus is the promised Messiah, the incarnate Word of God, our Lord and Savior. 1. His Conception Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. 2. His Miracles God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. 3. His Message Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. 4. His Death God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since, therefore, we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. 5. His Resurrection if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 6. His Reign He must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For God has put all things in subjection under his feet. 7. His Return You turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, Jesus who delivers us from the wrath to come. What does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit is God himself dwelling with Christian believers. 1. He indwells. The Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. 2. He fills. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery but be filled with the Spirit. 3. He assures. You have received the Spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. 4. He empowers. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good, all these are empowered by one and the same Spirit, who apportions to each one individually as he wills. 5. He transforms. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. 6. He guides. If by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. 7. He intercedes. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought. But the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. What must we do to be saved? It is Jesus who saves us. We receive His salvation by faith. 1. By His death. Since we have now been justified by His blood, much more shall we be saved by Him from the wrath of God. 2. By His resurrection. We believe in him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord, who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. 3. By his forgiveness. It is written, that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations. 4. By his life. Jesus is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, 
since he always lives to make intercession for them. 5. By his Spirit. The Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. 6. By our faith. By grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works. 7. Not by our effort. We also have believed in Christ Jesus, in order to be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law, because by works of the law no one will be justified. All false religions and human philosophies teach another Jesus, offer a different spirit, or demand human effort to be saved. Hold tightly to the true Jesus, live by the true spirit, and believe the true gospel. Then you will be saved.